Well, I think commercialization uh, of research in general is very important. It's it's a real challenge for all companies. Uh, you know, large companies that kind of come up with lots of ideas. How are they going to actually implement those, especially? Uh, kind of implement them in conjunction with their other products and other processes. And it's a, it's a real uh, challenge for academic research because the, uh, the, the reason of existence of academic research is not commercialization. But right now, a lot of important ideas, especially in, again, in, uh, in, in, the, techno in, 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 the, in the ICT area, but also uh, in, in in sort of areas related to green technology are being kind of developed and thought through in the academic realm. And the question is how can we get them to the commercial stage in a, in a rapid and efficient manner. But, but I think there are uh, kind of a couple of uh, uh, dangers in this, in this process as well. One is that you, know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want the uh, commercialization process to trump the academic process. And in particular, it's very important that uh, academic research is open. You know, uh, uh, it's, it's, the IP system works best not only when it provides incentives to people, but it also enables those ideas to be used by others. So it's kind of creating an open market system in ideas. So the academia uh, does quite well in the latter, and it didn't do very well in the former. And, and so I think uh, going a little bit in the direction of uh, encouraging commercialization uh, is, uh, is, is an important step. But I think uh, 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 other, uh, other steps uh, uh, can be taken in this direction. I think uh, one important one is, would again be reducing the bureaucratization of patents because you know, small innovators are, cannot just deal with it, especially academics who are you know, under various sort of pressures. Uh, the other is to sort of uh, uh, mostly on the part of the universities, but to actually facilitate uh, sort of joint ventures between uh, academics and, and businesses, because again, you know, the scale of the implementation of most technologies is going to be beyond the small companies that uh, that academics can actually uh, found or or, or, or 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 operate. But but I think and and, and also. Uh, uh, even though right now we are in a, in a, in a period of uh, uh, fiscal retrenching, uh, sort of uh, subsidies for certain areas where commercialization is going to be particularly socially useful. And, and again, I'm going to use the same example of green technology because it's such an obvious one. It, it really highlights the point. Is, is going to be very important. You know, right now we really need uh, sort of an overhaul of how we produce and deliver technology. You know, this is going to you know companies like General Electric are going to play a major role in it. But we also need new ideas here, and and and, and we should kind of find more innovative ways of subsidizing these new ideas because the the, 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 the kind of the underlying problem remains the same that any individual or company that comes up with a new viable way of contributing to the future production or delivery of, uh, of, of, of energy is going to create not only profits for himself, but much, much more surplus and benefits for the society at large.